The time had come for the black wedding that would unite Johnny and Jezebel as Hell's new power couple. The tabloids were already calling them Johnny Bell, but Johnny had something different in mind. Hey, Satan! You want to get out of here? I can't believe that worked. Occam's razor. Playtime is over, Mr. Gat. Save them if you can. I love weddings. Like that, the battle had ended. 
Satan could no longer suffer the indignity of being beaten by a mortal and disobeyed by his daughter, and so he banished them from perdition. But still, all was not well. That was a direct order from your captain! You're worse than Pierce! Trivianite is sacred! You don't get to quit just because you know fuck all about pop culture. Who knows the name of the Nightblade episode where they introduced Nightbladeette? It was called The Meaning of Reconciliation and it was directed by Kim Stein. I can't believe Asha sleeps with you. I can't believe you don't. Boss, are you okay? What is this place? Whoa, 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 who the fuck is that? Pierce is gonna have a heart attack. I don't think... Yeah? Guys, where's Johnny? Our hero had not yet returned to the mortal coil, for he was waylaid by none other than God himself. I have a situation. Look, man, I just really want to go home. I owe you. Huh? Zinyak hastened the apocalypse. St. Peter's a good guy, bless his heart, but he was processing souls way too slowly. With the destruction of Earth, Satan had the numbers to storm heaven. All he needed was the President of the United States to lead them. What, you think I couldn't do it? No, I think you wouldn't do it. Aisha's up here. I want to see her. Slow down, buddy. I said that I owe you, and I'll make good on that. But I want you to know your options. And now you, dear reader, shape the tale. If you want to see Johnny reunited with the love of his life, turn to page 31. If you want to see the devil defeated and Johnny crowned the new king of hell, turn to page 13. If you want the saints to find a new home world for what's left of humanity, turn to page 62. If you want God to recreate the earth, but in doing so retcon the entire world of Saints Row, Turn to page 124. And finally, if you want God to bestow Johnny with the answers to all the questions of the universe, turn to page 248. Johnny realized that this was his one chance to make it into heaven. He had to take it. In Hell's weakened state, the heavenly host made short work of Satan and those who were loyal to him. Soon, Johnny was the new ruler of Hell. Kinda pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it kinda is. Do you miss your friends? Nah, I know they'll be down here in no time. he loved Aisha, Johnny couldn't abandon his friends and the rest of humanity. There it is. The planet itself looks perfect. 
Oxygen base, lush forests, clean water, fertile soil. What's the catch? It appears to be inhabited by a psychotic warlike race. This is going to be our toughest fight yet. Thank you, God. The end. Johnny knew that he couldn't choose his own happiness at the expense of humanity. And so he asked God to reshape the world, hoping that maybe, just maybe, in this new life, he could find his friends again. It's really her. I can't believe we've bagged Brimstone. It doesn't make sense. She's evaded capture for years. Why would she drop the ball now? I don't know. When the lieutenant gets to interrogation, Brimstone's gonna talk. There were so many questions that Johnny needed answers to. Why did good people suffer? Was there a way to bring peace to all mankind? What was the secret to making a perfect lobster bisque? The alliance that Johnny brought together had far-reaching effects throughout the afterlife. For centuries, the Altor Alliance ruled in relative peace, until a new threat emerged. A secret cabal that plotted to strike at a time of complacency. The war was long and tumultuous, but in the end, the Altor Alliance prevailed. So what then became of those who aided Gat? Dane's partnership with Johnny changed him more than he knew. When William Sharp abducted Kiki, Dane risked his life to save her. The two got married soon after. Naturally, an ironclad prenup was agreed to. Sharp is now their pool boy. Vlad's castle was returned to its former terrifying glory. Kilbane's screams echo throughout the shantytown, a permanent reminder of what comes to those who question Vlad's dominion. Blackbeard now sails across the sky on the Queen Anne's Revenge, searching for any others who would threaten the Alliance's control and pressing them into service. Shakespeare's considerable fame only skyrocketed when he unveiled his latest opus, the live burial, exhumation, and reburial of Shogo Akuji. The critics and audiences loved it. Shogo, not so much. People kept on tormenting Dex, the payback was well overdue. But Viola looked not for power or revenge. The deal she sought was of a different nature. Ever a realist, Viola knew there was no way to barter her way past the pearly gates. But she was quite confident she could reach a different arrangement with God. An annual conference between representatives of heaven and hell. It's really just an excuse for them to play volleyball. <laughs>